Hi everybody, welcome back to Channeling Luxury with Danny B. I thought this would be a great time for my very first video of reviewing a new show that came out. I'm actually in a hotel lobby doing this, so um, I apologize if there's uh, any background noise, but uh, let's get the show started. This is the Chanel Monte Carlo show. Um, it's from May 5th, 2022, and you'll notice a few themes here. One of them is jumpsuits. And one of them is a racing theme, which uh, someone has uh, that's headed to ask someone who's headed to Monaco here very shortly for Formula One. I was a little bit surprised, although maybe Monte Carlo uh, was kind of our clue, right, that they were going to do something race themed. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love to race cars, but I don't want it on my clothes. But nevertheless, let's take a look at the show and get it started here. And I will... Um, just run through it and we'll see what uh, what you all think and please do comment as you um, so this is cruise 22 23 by the way but please do comment as you watch I would love for you to do that so this first look um, here's what I told my fashion advisor I asked to please try this minus the shirt I love the pants and I love the jacket um, my only concern is that it maybe looked a little bit kind of mall um, uh, maybe somebody working at the mall, a kind of a candy striper, a little bit too much, but I want to see it in person. If it's a lightweight tweed, I'll be all over it. If it's a heavyweight tweed, I will not. Now, this one here, racing jumpsuit, to me is a big absolute thumbs down. Uh, all of the jumpsuits, in my opinion, were a big no, but um, that's maybe because I've sold every jumpsuit I've ever purchased. This one, again, racing theme between the cap and the red jumpsuit I thought was pretty bad. I did not uh, appreciate this look very much. I didn't appreciate this look very much either. Sequins, um, you know, could potentially be cute. Maybe, maybe it will have potential. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, this one here, jumpsuit for me was a big no. Bag is kind of interesting. Take a look at it. I haven't seen one like that before. Kind of had an interesting flap in the front. This one also very racing theme. I mean, they're even carrying a helmet, right? We kind of can't get away from the racing theme here. Um, the cross bag, cross body phone holder it looked like uh, was a new piece I hadn't seen before. Um, and then another jumpsuit, again, racing theme. Another jumpsuit, again, racing theme. What I thought was cool here was the belt. It looks like it's a stretchy belt in white. So that will be on my wish list for my fashion advisor. This t-shirt looked like uh, it had a big plate on the front, not my thing, so that's a skip. But the jacket, let's take a look at the jacket. I think that if it's like lambskin or something very lightweight, I think the gold inside and the black outside may even be reversible, maybe that would be cool. I think that jacket looks awesome. So for me, the jacket got put on the list. Um, the t-shirt and the pants, oh, don't even get me started. But uh, I think the jacket's cool. The hats, I'm not quite following. They tend to be really big build. And if you have like, you know, build like B-I-L-L-E-D, that kind of build. If you have a smaller head, I don't think they look good. They kind of stick out really far. So, but the jacket for me was definitely a winner. Um, well, at least from what we can tell, right? And sometimes the looks are where you get more information. Again, white jumpsuit, but stretchy belt. Um, maybe possible this one here i i was honestly just shocked at how bad this look was to me um i mean the yellow jacket could potentially be cute on its own the bright gold pants reminded me of my superhero video from um from spring 22. i think that's a disaster but you know sometimes again so many times i've said this is horrible and then i see it in person and i love it or vice versa i think it's horrible and then i wish i had gotten it the shirt underneath, I think uh, the blue and white has the most potential from this look, in my opinion. Um, and, uh, you know, the I thought the, the horizontal stripes against the vertical stripes in the front were pretty cool. But I would have to definitely see it. I don't even know if this is short or long sleeve. I need to look at the lookbook. Sometimes you actually get that information from Vogue faster than you get it from Chanel. For those of you, if you don't already know that, you probably do. But if you don't, you do now. Um, but what is with that bag, right? I'm not really sure what that's all about. So anyway, we continue on. Another new handbag that I haven't seen before. Um, so something else, you know, to consider here. Um, and I thought the jacket there was pretty cool, but again, we need to kind of see it <laughs> with a little more detail. Seems to be a lot of sparkle in this collection, which I was a little bit surprised for Cruz. But if you looked at that jacket, you saw the yellow jacket with, again, the black and white striped racing detail. And that is a big no for me. I don't want any stripes, racing stripes on my clothes. Um, this look here, I think looks super cute. Um, the red 
jacket is a potential uh i think i know that leather i may have a pink jacket in a similar leather if so it's nice the black and white shirt underneath is a basic um, i think that's probably a winner um i want to see it i don't know if it's short or long sleeve but i think it might be cute in fact it makes me want to I, I remember seeing it earlier and i didn't screenshot it but i want to screenshot it and send it to my fa and get on the list for this um, so i think that's a potential potential winner um, and then again, the gold and the glitter and the sequins, I think it's too much, right? And a lot of people are asking um, what Virginia's doing after um, Lagerfield stopped the design, the designs. And um, I even know some fashion advisors who question the designs and the lack of cohesiveness. There is more cohesiveness in this collection. Um, we have racing and jumpsuits. That's our cohesion and a lot of gold, but there's been a lot of gold lately. And it seems like no matter what collection or what season, there's still a lot of gold. Um, you know, I mean, I'm all for gold. I have plenty of gold on. I'm always wearing jewelry, um, but you know, I don't really want all my jackets to look like superhero clothes. So that's just my opinion, but we move on. Uh, again, I want to hear what you all think. So please do comment. Um, this outfit to me was just too much. I mean, between the necklace and then this one coming up here, vest possible possibility, but look at this, look at that shirt. Like, are we going to wear a racing stripe shirt? And then look at that. Look at this, look at the headband going on here with the racing stripes and stuff. I just think it's, it's tacky. That's what it is to me. It's tacky. And I don't want so that, that jackets, that vest is probably $8,000. The shirt's probably $3,000. Um, you know, that even the headband's probably 800 or more. And I, or the scarf, I don't want my couple thousand dollar or multi thousand dollar pieces to look like I'm attempting to race a car again in Abu Dhabi, right? So um, I don't know. For me, it's just a big fail, the whole racing theme. But, you know, I would love to hear more about the reason behind it. And I'll certainly read and share that with all of you when I learn more. Um, at least they don't have a lot of uh, stockings this time, right? We know that the last collection, they had a lot of, um, the last collection that was that what they did the video for, they had a lot of, um, it's for fall, pre-fall, a lot of socks. It became a running joke, even among Chanel folks. Um, I mean, people that work there, that's what I mean. Like, it's a running joke uh, that there were too many socks. So let's take a look at this look. I think the dress has potential, although... Again, actually, now that I zoom in, um, the race car on the front, oh, that's a bit much. Um, the Again, the jacket, the pink and white would have been really cute, but it's got like racing stuff on it. I don't mind the big C or the one even. I can kind of handle that if the rest is cute, but there's too much going on with the racing theme. I think they're going to alienate. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope they prove me wrong, but I think they're going to alienate a lot of people with the racing theme in this collection because we don't want to look like wannabe racers while we're walking into dinner. Chanel, get your shit together. Okay, so um, let's take a look at this look. Again, big time racing theme. It looks like a checkered flag and gold pants. That's not going to work. Um, for mo many of you who love it, I think go for it. I'm stoked and I can't wait to see it on folks. But for me, I'm a huge ready to wear fan, but this collection has just made me want to cry. Uh, when I first got the link this morning from a fashion advisor at the other side of the country, I'm like, you have to be kidding me. This sweater has potential, okay? It doesn't necessarily look like a racing sweater. It's just black and white, okay? Pretty straightforward and simple. So that maybe have, has potential. The skirt, oh boy, don't even get me started. I think, I think for anyone like myself under 5'6", it's going to look huge. We'll see. Uh, I hope they prove me wrong, but the sweater looks pretty cute. I think, uh, you know, it's oversized, so a shrunken one would be good. Um, you know, there's, again, this is that same look, right? So this is a, another printed dress, another printed dress, but take a look at this. That is racing theme times a thousand. I mean, you can't look at this and say, well, maybe they meant something else. No, you look at this and you know, this is a racing theme. I would love to hear from all of you if that's a hit or miss for you because may, I love I love automobile racing. I'm going to Formula One in a few weeks. Um, I love it, but look, would you do this? Would you wear this on your clothes? I'd love to know what you think. Um, the stretchy belt for me is a win. So that I did add to my wish list, but this collection, oh boy, uh, wow. Um, I'm gonna ask my fashion advisors too what people have been saying about the interesting choice of racing theme 
and the excessive jumpsuits. Uh, there's another one that was just coming down the runway, um, another printed dress, another kind of flowy printed dress. I love a flowy dress, right? Who doesn't like that? But look at the dress. It looks super cute, except on the bottom, it has a racing theme. Again, um, I know that's the theme. It's Monte Carlo. I get it, but come on. Um, this short dress to me just doesn't really scream like it's anything special. So that one would be a big, you know, kind of miss for me. But like I said, sometimes I do find pieces, I say no way. And then I'm like, I wish I had that one. Um, so these to me are big no's. I don't even know why they would be in the cruise. Um, it, to me, it just doesn't add up. Like they're kind of thick fabrics, but there's a dress coming up that I did add to my wish list, and it's this one. It has the side pockets. I would simply size it up and get it tailored. Um, I thought the look of that was pretty cute and didn't look racing like. Um, this to me doesn't look racing either, but again, this is where Chanel is getting a lot of heat right now. Where is the cohesion between what we just saw with the racing designs and this plaid kind of printed pattern? I, I, maybe it's there, but for me, I'm not seeing it. I don't know. And then there's a long dress that's really similar to that uh, that's coming up here. And you will see it, this piece here. Um, you know, interesting handbag. It's a kind of a cute dress, plaid. It looks like it might have pearls, but um, this one here is just too matronly for me. But the one prior, I mean, it maybe has potential. We need to see it in person, I think. Uh, pink one behind it. Again, you know, it's kind of classic Chanel look. Um, I don't, I honestly don't know what to make of that one. I have to see it in person before I decide if there's too much pearl, then it looks too matronly for me. So we'll see. Um, this one, I think the skirt is too long. That's a huge hit, a huge miss on the skirt. And I think that the, um, fabric in the front of the jacket, knowing Chanel is going to be too thick, just my opinion, but we'll see what it looks like in person. Um, and then the look behind it, of course, kind of a similar, flair to it um you know that looks a little bit preppy so I, I think that would be a pass for me as well by the way just so you know when i go through these videos usually 80 percent is i want to try <laughs> 50 percent is like oh my god it's amazing right now i'm at like what 10 or something so for what that's worth um this piece here or this uh this um outfit here you know i i just didn't really see anything that would grab my attention on that one um this here the, again the uh, the the there's a lot of like layering right where you've got stripes underneath something else and they kind of continued that here this outfit here i did think that the shorts were pretty cool the jacket's going to be too big and also for me and i also like kind of too square but i also really like the pink vest from what i could see in the looks uh, the allure uh, vogue looks i think the pink vest it looked pretty cute but I would do the pink vest, white shirt of some type or blouse and the blue shorts. So I did add that to my list of items to take a look at. And you can see the handbag here. It almost looked like a tennis racket cover when I first saw it. Um, it's kind of a crossbody bag. It was like with a small compartment in the front. Doesn't look, look like it will fit a foam, unfortunately. Um, and I'm just allowing the show to continue here. So this one here again. So. Um, the preppy look, right? So we had racing look, jumpsuit look, which also had racing. Now we have preppy somewhere in there. We had some pearls. So this is where the co lack of cohesion again is kind of, um, you know, I think Chanel's taking a hit for it. So uh, this, I think the potential for the, I don't know if it's a vest or a sweater underneath in pink could be cute. I don't know about that um, necklace in hot pink. I'd like to see that, but you know, the shorts look kind of cool, but I wouldn't wear these pieces together. Um, but I have to, see, again, I have to see them. The dress, for me, no way. It's too huge. Um, it's too billowy. Maybe this is actually shorts and a, and a jacket that's just too big, but that's a no way. Um, this piece here, this uh, the, the black one that's coming up, so I thought the pink stretchy belt was pretty cool, although it was a, definitely a wider one, um, but the rest of the outfit I thought was pretty bad. Um, the handbag, uh, you can see what that new handbag was in that photo, and I don't think uh, that's going to be a winner. And I think overall that whole look was just kind of uh, the same thing here. I just, it's just a miss to me. I don't, I don't know. There's just isn't something not quite right about the whole look. Um, this here, I don't want giant C's on my chest, so um, at least not that kind of C. <laughs> so that's not going to work for me. And the same with that skirt. I think those are definite no's. Um, and then, you know, this outfit here, I don't even know what to make of this or how to describe it. Maybe in person it'll be cute, but, um, you know, same here. It's just, it's, it, I don't know what it's supposed to be, to be honest. When I look at the photo, is it evening wear? Is it a nightgown? Um, there's just something off to me about this. 
Um, this same thing here, um, you know, it looks sort of evening gown-ish, maybe cocktail party if it's a very conservative, like Upper East Side New York City cocktail party, but too conservative to me. They're playing it too safe. Um, now this blouse here, I think the blouse in and of itself with some jeans could be very cute, um, but the rest of the outfit was to me just, you know, kind of poorly put together and looked really sloppy. Um, jacket here reminded me of something I saw on sale about four years after it came out. Um, so I, that was a definite no. This whole outfit for me was a definite no. Would love to hear what you think. Um, and you can see the skirt, obviously, that they paired it with. Here, same thing. I mean, maybe the wrap dress, if it didn't. And they had this issue this last uh, season where they made these, um, they, they added this extra fabric, right, to the back of the skirts instead of to the front. I actually removed them from a couple of different outfits that I purchased. Two dresses, I removed them. Um, like, literally just tore, like, used a seam ripper and took them right off because it looked terrible with them on. Um, and they're do, kind of doing the same thing here, but instead of on the back, they're doing it on the side. I don't think that's a good solution either. So to me, that's a definite fail on their part. I don't like this shirt. I don't like the rest of it. Again, I'm a big fan of ready to wear, but I, this collection, ah, makes my head hurt. Um, this one here, you know, I, I would have to go from a size two, four to like a double zero. Same with this one, most likely. Um, a lot of the Chanel tweed long dresses, uh, if you've ever tried them on, they're very bulky on. So if you're a size two, you're going to look a six. If you're a six, you're going to look a 10. To me, I'm five foot four. It's not flattering. So I am a skip on anything long tweed. I love a tweed, beautiful tweed mini dress, but something long, no. So all of you ladies out there who have, who are much taller than me, I think you could pull that dress off and look amazing. But for those of us shorties, mm -mm, it's not going to happen. Um, I don't think so. So, um, this jacket here looks cute, but again, it's just too oversized. Um, I don't want to look like I'm, you know, wearing a man's blazer. I know that might be a thing this coming season, who knows, or for cruise next year. Uh, bodysuits did see a few of these, uh, in different pieces. It looked like they were bodysuits. This one just does not, uh, appeal to me. And, um, you know, I, I can't imagine wearing it with no bottom, but maybe that will be a cute look in the future. I don't know. This one seemed to have a bandeau, but the rest of the look was kind of hard to see. This one um, looks like something from Little House on the Prairie with some extra bling. So this one was a definite no to me. Um, and just moving along here on the looks. Finally, I got ahead of it a little bit. Okay, so I do like it when they mix colors, but I think I think this is a dress with a shirt over it and that, um, you know, the dress is just gonna be long and again, too much fabric. And then the blouse might be cute. I mean, you need to give it a shot, but it just, uh, you know, it's, we want, if we're gonna spend that much money for a piece, we want it to be super unique, right? Or super cool or really feel good about it or know we're gonna get a lot of times so that we get to wear it at the price that we have to pay. Um, so I don't know. Again, I want to see these pieces in person and I wish I got to do that now, but I didn't get invited to the show. So come on, Chanel, <laughs> help some of your VVIC people out and give us some show passes. Until then, all we can do is critique online. Um, so this one here, I thought that the shirt had potential until I looked at the Vogue art pictures and it looks like it's butterflies or flowers. I couldn't really tell. It was, uh, I, I kept zooming in and it was not clear to me. Um, so as much as I wanted to like that one, it's probably going to be, in my opinion, a, a too, um, a, too, um, just too much stuff, right? Too much, uh, too many details going on to be cute. Um, the high-waisted pants with the tie, just not attractive if you are under six foot. Of course, these models are gorgeous and they are six foot, so it looks great on them, but that's not going to look good on most of us. Um, in my opinion. <laughs> and then this, this outfit here, this one caught my attention at first because I was wondering what in the heck they're doing. I'm sure that the bib is an afterthought. I'm hoping it's an accessory and it can be ditched and then you will have what's underneath. But I think that also might be a jumpsuit in which case, um, I would be a hard pass because like I said, I've sold every jumpsuit I've ever owned pretty much without wearing it, which is pathetic. Um, so here we can see that, that top a little bit more. It is cropped. I wish I could love it. Um, maybe I will when I see it in person. I do tend to love pastels, right? So maybe this will end up being a really good piece. I don't know, but the skirt too long. And again, uh, too one-sided, too asymmetrical. Um, I'm not opposed to asymmetry. I actually really like it 
on different things like tattoos and hair. <laughs> so, uh, or maybe swimsuits. This one here, this look, that look here, I, I, I liked the white dress, but I didn't really like the black bib underneath. Um, but if you think about it again, yeah, some of the racing pieces were black and white, but again, what does this black and white have to do with that black and white, right? So now we've got kind of four themes going on, the matronly theme, the racing theme, the jumpsuit theme, and then this, which I'm not really sure what I want to call it as of yet, but um, yeah, we, we just have to... I don't know. I don't know what we can't do anything, but I think they need to get their act together. This is just looks like a wedding dress. So unless I'm getting married that season, which is not going to happen, um, that would be a hard no for me. I think I'll find it in the third floor Lux <laughs> in South Coast Plaza. This actually reminded me very much of pants I had from three years ago. I just got tailored because um, I outgrew my pants, uh, <laughs> but they still had a tag on and they look very similar to this. So I think they're bringing that look back. The jacket's cropped. Um, that This might be cute, might be a cute look. Uh, I probably wouldn't want to pair both together. So I would go more for the jacket. Um, but if it's a heavy tweed, it's going to be a no for sure. If it's a lighter tweed, maybe, maybe. This one, I don't even have anything to say. It's uh, and It looks like an applique, just not good. It's just not good, period, not good. That one doesn't even look good from behind. I mean, I'm all for like a really sexy trench coat. I mean, there's nothing more sexy than putting on stilettos and just having a trench coat on, right? This one is not it. Uh, I don't really know what they did with it. The green belt, all right, well, you know, that's cool. Um, the rest of it just, uh, it looks like a kind of blinged out wannabe Burberry something, but yet almost looks like a jacket from Chanel that I picked up at Saks about 10 years ago on clearance on a sale. They really do have sales, especially at the department stores. But the, um, you know, I think there's leggings or something underneath that, right? Sometimes it can be hard to tell when we watch the video. This one, matronly. I mean, why, why does she have to, this is a beautiful woman. She's probably 20. She looks 45 here, not because of her, because of her outfit. Why are they doing that? Um, same thing here. This woman looks old. I do not want to add 10 years because I chose to spend, you know, probably $9,000 or more on a dress. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, come on, help us look younger here. We don't spend money on lasers and all this other stuff like you'll see on my beauty channel for that, to have Chanel age us. This, um, this outfit, it's the same one. I just, uh, yeah, no, it's just a hard pass to me. I don't even want to try some of these pieces. Um, this one, and I've obviously been honest about which ones I would try, but these are just a no. The applique underneath, even the handbag. I mean, I, I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand where this collection's going. Um, I could understand if the racing was together and if the matronly pieces were together and we were kind of going for the, you know, 1930s flashback Marilyn Monroe looks. I can understand if the tweed was together. I can understand if it was just pastels, but this is all over the place. The superhero look, um, where that came from again, I quite honestly just don't know. Um, and this one, this piece here, I mean, this is again, Little House on the Prairie, you know, times 50. I'm sure it's very comfortable. It'd be great over a swimsuit maybe, but what are we gonna do with these pieces? It just doesn't, I mean, how are we going to wear these? That's what I would love to know from all of you. How are we going to wear these pieces? Because it just does not, doesn't add up to me. So now they're obviously just kind of walking through, um, through the looks and we can, they're kind of going back again, uh, to them. I think the necklace is kind of interesting, but maybe we'll pick up some detail. It looked like she was holding a bouquet in her hand, right? Like they're aware of the fact that this looks like a wedding collection. So this was interesting. This one here was kind of caught my attention. The one, the necklace, which just looks really cool with a lot of detail. And if it's a fashion necklace, hopefully it wouldn't be crazy expensive. But the tank, the asymmetrical tank, I think is cuter than the other one. Maybe that's a possibility, maybe. Um, so that was something I thought was worth taking another look at. And we'll see what else they come up with here. A lot of black, right, with different colored belts. Um, and then the same thing here, the white with the black that we saw earlier beautiful resort look a beautiful looking resort for sure and um yeah so this is when they're obviously kind of doing a recap right of every look that we saw and uh, the whole show i think is about 18 minutes so um here's like kind of the final 
uh, look or final looks. Um, I always try to pay attention to the handbags because that's where you're going to see what kind of new things besides the classics in different colors, what new things are coming out with. It's how we found the 22. It's how we found the heart before they came out in the lookbook. Um, it, or if you download the Chanel app before it came out in the app, I would love to be here in person. It looks amazing. Uh, I had an invitation once and, um, but it was in a different city and COVID took away my invite. So Maybe one day I'll get one back, but it does definitely is an interesting collection. I don't know if I would call it a collection. I think I would just call it a lot of looks. Um, but you know, it's I'm not getting something. There's something I'm not understanding about the recent lack of cohesion, and I would love to know what you all think. What am I missing here? Like we went from we see it. We're going from wedding to plaid to funeral, to matronly, all within how many seconds? A couple of seconds, right? Four or five. Um, anyway, what am I missing? Ladies and gents who are watching this, what am I missing? What is the cohesion among the collection about all of these pieces that would make you say later on, this was Cruise 23. This was the Monte Carlo 2022 show. What would make you say that? I would love to know. Uh, okay, thank you for watching. If you are interested in uh, my channel, if you're interested in more content on ready to wear handbags, any luxury designers, I do a lot of reviews and I do try ons as well. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification button, and I will you will be notified of new content when I upload. So thank you for watching, and please do comment. I would love to have a dialogue with some other Chanel ready to wear fans on what it is that I'm missing and which pieces would you buy from this collection? What would you buy? And would you wear the racing collection pieces? Um, is that a, a thumbs up or thumbs down for you? For me, racing is a thumbs down. Anything fitted and cool is a thumbs up. Uh, some of the pieces are a thumbs up, but a lot of them, too many of them are thumbs down. So Chanel will not get as much money from me from this collection um, as, and there is the reason behind this. Uh, Chanel will not get as much money from me in this collection as they would otherwise have. So that's probably a good thing for me and a bad thing for Chanel and American Express. All right, enjoy uh, this video. I hope you take a look at some of my others and please do remember to subscribe. Thank you so much.